everyone and welcome to the July energy update reading. This time I thought I would do it in a more interesting way. So I have three piles here and the first pile is an overall energy update on the whole month. The second pile is the first half of July and the third pile is the second half of July. So very exciting. June was an interesting month. I hope it went well for all of you as well. And I'm curious what's gonna happen in July. So let's get started. Let's move these two out of the way for now and start here. We have these two oracles, the Hawthorne and the Citrus are starting off July. So this Hawthorne, July is a month really, uh, I guess that we will be able to kind of relax and be able to kind of allow ourselves to take it slow, do some meditation or do some things that we're just enjoying and we don't have to be fast in doing things. I feel like that's uh, some, some, that's a way that we're going to be feeling in July because of this Hawthorne, and at least we should remember that it's okay for us to take some time to do things like that. And I think more people will maybe want to dive deeper, maybe because it's also cancer season and people are feeling like they want to be more in tune with emotions and things. I'll leave these here for now. Um, the citrus is really telling me that this month is kind of about protection, us learning how to protect ourselves in a way and really taking a look at what battles we're, we're fighting and what, what we're really doing uh, just in our daily lives and what our issues are and assessing whether these problems are worth fighting for or not or fighting over. And this time that we're going to take you know, just to think things over, just to think through, meditate, uh, dive deeper in. That's when we're going to be also thinking about whether these things are things that we need to keep doing. Like earthly things that we're physically doing, I think, uh, mostly, is what we're going to be reassessing, whether we need to keep doing these things. Maybe this is coming because of I think there's a full moon and Capricorn in July. That could be why this energy is coming through. Also, after that, we got star bathing. So transmission and activation. Interesting. Well, if people are taking time to really meditate, then uh, of course, you'll start getting more activations. And probably because of that, it'll help us like rethink just what we should keep doing and what we should stop doing, what align what is aligned uh, with our highest good now and what isn't anymore. But really, we are establishing a deep connection. Maybe uh, some people will literally be establishing a deeper connection with their star family or uh, spirit guides, higher self, other kinds of beings. And for other people, it might actually be their literal family here on earth that you'll be getting closer to, with and also maybe something is going to be happening like if you're having some issues with your family it'll be easier to resolve and remember that you're supported not just from earthly beings but also star beings possibly some people will be meeting if they have any of their star family or soul family incarnated on earth then it's possible you might meet them this month and that's a really nice thing, so I wish that for everyone. <laughs> and really expect miracles. If this card is coming out, then uh, some big things will be happening. Big changes, maybe. Although with all of these cards here, I don't feel like they're going to be physical changes. They're going to be internal changes. A lot of internal changes, internal work. But maybe the more we dive deeper in and allow ourselves to have that free time, just to... Not even, you don't have to meditate, just do nothing. Just sit in silence or in nature and just enjoy the time that you have. Miracles will come when you do. 
and be a beacon. Light the way for others. Cosmic Rainbow, look for the pot of gold, accept joy. So I guess in July, you guys watching this will probably get some kind of upgrades, activations, and you'll really uh, just get a lot of joy from that. Maybe from being around others as well, but you'll really be lighting the way for them as well. Maybe from this joy that you're emitting, it's just going to transform them as well, maybe, if you allow it to. But yeah, this month seems like it could change the world for so much better. And certain people will probably be doing that with their activations that are coming. Bringing and anchoring more light in. And that's really changing everyone, not just yourself and certain people. It's helping everyone. So yeah, I guess we're expecting miracles. And this card is the overall energy for the month. Oh, Page of Wands. Interesting. See, he's the Page of Wands, but he has some cups or chalices here. So I, this is making me think that maybe we'll see this later with the first half and the second half. But maybe in the beginning, we'll be really sorting out our internal areas, you know, looking deeper inside uh, and then taking action, taking more action. We are transiting from Cancer to Leo, so it makes sense to really, you know, this guy who already has all of his emotions and internal problems all sorted, he's all, all set to really go on his journey and start doing things, doing what he's supposed to do, doing what he wants to do. So before we move on to the first half, I want to see if we can get more cards for just the overall energy temperance yes balancing especially balancing of emotions since she's uh, getting the water from cup to cup balancing emotions your internal life your internal side <laughs> and the moon this is gonna be a very important month for some people it might be very strong uh, you might get very strong intuitional hits just if you're being upgraded, it makes sense. Yeah, um, a light will come into people's lives, literally, <laughs> probably. Yeah, we'll really be seeing through things, allowing ourselves to not play the victim anymore. We, no one else is making us be like this. We're gonna be free. Our thoughts are gonna be set free if, you know, if we can get out of this. We're no longer going to be as blind because the light is coming and shining the way. And we can remove this blindfold. Mm, and the king, queen of cups. Almost said king there, I don't know why. People have a lot more compassion this month, possibly because of the cancer energy. But also, emotional maturity is coming, really. See, she went from this to this. She no longer feels like her life is just bad and everything bad is happening to her and she can't go anywhere, she can't do this, she can't do that. No, she knows that she is the ruler of her life. She controls her life and does that with grace. There's no one really to blame for you being here in these situations. Don't blame yourself, don't blame others. It's just how it happened. But now you're getting the chance to... Uh, we're all getting the chance to make our lives better i feel like this month it has potential it has it's gonna have a lot of energy a lot of light coming in so everyone is gonna have the ability to really change their lives make their lives better and caring for others with the queen of cups as well uh, helping out others here with the beacon you know you're not just helping yourself you're helping other people as well so everyone watching this, this is a message to you. This is a month when you can do all of this. You can make your life better and make the people around you's lives better too. Of course, I would say focus on uh, you first just so that you're in a good position. But if you feel like you're in a good position, then show it. Be happy. Show that you're happy. And people will just be affected by that. Anyway, I want to move on to the first half of the month, so I'll just get rid of all of this and set the new cards out. Be right back. 
Okay, so the beginning of July, here we are. I'll keep this, you know, here for now and reveal it at the end of the first half's reading. So in the beginning, here with this blue bell, people, I feel like, will get this feeling that they can really start asking others for help. Like, you guys watching this, you can be independent and still ask for help. You don't have to do everything by yourself. And I can see that there's... Uh, Everyone is going to be dealing with the end, maybe, of their karmic relationships and conflicts that have gone on in their lives and really find the love this month. I mean, it literally says here, experience, re experience relationship harmony and healing and soul healing. Align with your essence, see your true colors. By aligning with our essence, seeing our true colors, we can see the true colors of others too and realize that even the worst people, there's still good in them. It doesn't mean that we should particularly interact with them too much, but at least don't hate them. And set boundaries with them. Set boundaries with the people that you feel like you're having a lot of conflicts with. Because of these conflicts, it, there's no way to resolve them and no way to see eye to eye. Then it's just time to set boundaries and move on from this and, you know, experience some relationship healing with people who are willing to see eye to eye with you and build a bridge with you. Yeah, I guess on top of the inner work that everyone is going to be doing, there's going to be a lot of relationship healing, especially at the beginning of the month. So if you're having conflicts or we're having a lot of conflicts with people, family, then July is your month that you can really change that and heal. Let's see what this card is. The Tower. Okay. Yeah, it changes. Changes to just everything. Everything internal. Everything to do with relationships. It's time to let go of people, I guess. This July is a time that we'll be able to let go of people who aren't good for us anymore. And to make peace with some people who could be good for us or don't even need to be in our lives. But it's time to heal from all of that, really. And not be afraid to ask for help. Maybe some of these people that we're healing the relationships with are going to help us in some way. But the people that so far have been more antisocial, let's say, you haven't socialized with many people then I think more people are going to be able to come into your life in July and you can accept their help and you should because you don't need to do stuff alone. Let's get one more card for the first half. Oh, okay. Um, she just came out. <laughs> I, you know, I don't control it. She just came out. <laughs> I guess the Queen of Cups was really talking about the beginning of the month. Yes, she was about, you know, having good relationships, nurturing people, helping people, helping yourself, being compassionate, being more in tune with your emotions. And I guess it's something that is we're going to be able to do a lot in the first half of July. And it makes sense because that's exactly cancer season. <laughs> so... Fully makes sense. Let's get the second half out. We have the tulip and the mustard. Let's turn that around. The tulip and the mustard. Look more into detail. And with this tulip, I feel like we're going to be able to realize our worth. Because we've dealt with all of this in the first half. So in the second half, we'll know what we're worth. The toxic people that we got rid of in the start of the month, we're not going to be listening to any of what they s said or say anymore. And we'll know what we're worth and what we can do. And really uh, be proud of ourselves and our true colors. See our true colors and be proud of that. And it, again, it makes sense because then it's, it's coming into Leo season. And that's more of a, I guess, a Leo thing. And this mustard always reminds me of the Ace of Cups. But it does mean going more into detail with things. Maybe with yourself or something else. But really, you can dive more deeper into details. 
in the second half. You're not alone. Yeah, I guess the community thing is really continuing in the second half of July. It is a warmer month, so I guess it's a time when people can gather uh, more easily in certain parts of the planet. It's nicer to be outside, so maybe uh, people will have an easier time uh, finding their own community or finding others to be around. Or again, this could be someone not even physical. You could be communicating with someone like a higher being. And caring compassion, choose to be loved, do what is right for everyone involved, offer a helping hand. And again, it's really continuing from the start to the second half. But here we're, I guess we're offering more of the helping hand. We're trying to help. Here maybe we were healing and more, we'll be healing more in the first half. And then in the second half is when we'll really be able to help others as well. Um... Leo, <laughs> spiritual warrior, show you a wise leader, command the universe, yes. I guess now that we've done the soul healing and taken time to meditate and really, uh, if there's really going to be more activations and things, we'll really be more in our own power and able to do things that we didn't even think we could do. It really reminds me of this card that came out in the full the overall energy reading for the month. Be a beacon and inspiration. Light the way for others. And yeah, you're being this beacon. You're being this leader. It's what we really can do during the second half of this month. We can be this leader. We can help others. Cocoon of white light. Rest in perfect love. Understand oneness. Yeah, it makes sense. No, you got the love here. And we're really getting these activations and things. And you're really understanding more about the world. More about yourself. And being able to just feel loved. Even if you're just by yourself. You don't need anyone to love you. To feel love. You can just call in love to come into your body. And that way you'll get, the f you'll get to really feel it. Because you don't need someone external giving you that love. Maybe this is something some people will be learning a lot in this half of the month. And again, this whole month is going to be about resting more and thinking more, meditating more, finding out more about ourselves. And the Nine of Cups, well, being so happy and content with what we have, no matter what it is, how little or how much we have look how happy she is just about this one bust she has you don't need so many materials to be happy you don't even need anything material to be happy let's get one more card for the second half the star hope have hope guys everyone is going to be having hope in the end of july hope for the future hope for themselves for their relationships for the world the second half of july especially is going to be very very good for most people very favorable the first half might have a bit more you know since we have the tower here and karmic relationships some trauma might be coming out that you'll have to deal with or you know you might even continue having these conflicts in the first half but it's, it's the time when really you can deal with it and you can be this queen of cups and you know act with compassion act with love even if someone is yelling at you you know you can be the bigger person you can leave or you can try to speak to them with love and i guess this is probably something you really be able to step into this whole month and again uh, a lot of light and stars here because of the star light is coming activations are coming you have more of an opportunity to maybe speak with light beings star beings connect with them in some way and yeah that's all this month is looking very good 
I really hope that all of these good things do come to all of you who are watching and to people who aren't watching. Uh, let me know if this happens to you at the end of the month and I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps in some way. I hope it helps activate you. <laughs> and like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye bye!